Well, our next guest first began making fix and freeze meals for her family in 1986 and co-founded Dream Dinners. She's here to talk about a new book, The Hour That Matters Most, and the surprising power of the family meal. Now here at California Life, we're happy to welcome our in-studio guest, the New York Times best-selling author, Stephanie Allen. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And I have to tell you that I'm a fan of the book. Um, it's perfect for somebody like me. I'm busy, I have three girls, I'm married, I work, and I don't always have time to research all the things that I need to do as a mom. But yeah. when I saw this, I thought, you know what? I can do that. I can sit down with my family for an hour. And we did, we went over the book. I mean, are you finding that from a lot of the people that read the book? It's really fun. The feedback has been phenomenal. Um, I think that's what put us on the New York Times bestseller list is that this is just practical how to. You know, there's a lot of articles written, a lot of books written about why you should eat at home and why you should have that home cooked dinner. But we actually wrote a manual for how to. And you were telling me too that some of these kids, you know, now they're grown up and they've done all these studies that truly that's what they want. They want to be with us. They want to be with the family. They feel close to the family. And we just had all those statistics about how it helps them yeah. with their grades. It keeps them out of trouble. I mean, it's pretty profound. It really is. 73% of teenagers in America say they're at their happiest when they're with their family. They might not always act that way, but they want to be with their family. Kids want to be anchored. They want to be grounded. And, you know, making that time to sit down at the dinner table gives them a place to anchor to the family. Those family values that get caught, you know, not taught, mm -hmm. but really caught, that happens around the dinner table. And the tips are so easy. I mean, I was just thumbing through it last night, and I just loved, like, the little quizzes, you know. So I'm asking my girls, you know, what would you do differently if you were mommy and daddy and you had to punish it? Oh, they just ate that up. Yeah, they want to belong. They really yes. do. And the hour that matters most.com, we have downloadable uh, conversation starters, free mm -hmm. tools, free tips on how to actually start those great conversations. You don't know where they're going to lead, but once you've broken the ice and the kids start talking at the table, that's where the value is. And I know I was telling you earlier too, like, you know, here I am, I'm like, oh, we're gonna do this book, and here's my seven-year-old, she's tipping back in her chair, and I flip right to the tip on, when your child is flipping back in their chair, you know, here's a tip, you know, make them stand for the rest of the meal. And little things that are kind of fun, so they were laughing and joking, or even just the last one to the table, you know, is the server. Yes. I mean, those are just, I mean, how did you come up with all these different tips and advice? Well, they're all practical. They're mm -hmm. things that, that we grew up with, um, we worked with, with the family psychologist to get these advice of story. And we wrote them in a story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just a whole book of, of tips and advice, but it's stories. It's things that, that actually work that have worked in our families. It's the way we raised our kids. And they're they're common sense, you know, manners, just little things like manners that, that you forget to teach that are really important, even to a toddler. And you know, the other side of the coin is you gotta have a meal to enjoy mm -hmm. when you're sitting down. And I am one of the biggest fans too of dream dinners oh, because I'm you. so busy and I feel like I wanna have a nice meal for my family and I love that you can go there it's all fresh food, you're prepping it, and you can have meals for the whole week. It's a wonderful concept that I think you created. We did. We created Dream Dinner so that people could have that home-cooked dinner. Um, mm -hmm. The book is just a complement to that. So now mm -hmm. that you have the home-cooked dinner, how, how do we actually get that really great dinner time, that dinner experience? But at Dream Dinners, you are. You're assembling your dinners. You're using mm -hmm. fresh, whole, you know, great ingredients, and, and you're making it yourself. So if you like lots of garlic, you add lots of garlic, or if you don't like your olives, you leave don't. them out. If your kids don't <laughs> eat capers, you yeah. can put it on half. But, you know, the, the package together really works to complete our mission, that priority to sit down at the dinner table. You know, and another thing that I saw in here that I just thought was so interesting was just how you know, parents may not know their kids as well as they think we do. I mean, my whole life yeah. are my kids, and I go to all their activities, and we did the little quiz on, you know, do we know their six closest friends? You know, yeah, we know what they did today, but do you know more? Do you know the parents? And mm -hmm. are you hearing that people are doing the quizzes and going, gosh, maybe I need to spend more time talking about this? Exactly, yes. There's a lot of um, communication skills that we can learn and we can teach at the dinner table. Some of, of the best manners you can learn are being a good communicator. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I think it's Thank a great you. concept. And like I said, it was the one book that I picked up in my pile of all the pitches that come to the show. And I really got something out of it. That's so, wonderful. So glad you glad could be could our help. guest today. Thank you. Thank you.